today we are here outside our Danish retirement home, Dania. And already way back when in 1938, Danes here in beautiful British Columbia dreamed about having a retirement home just like the ones we know from Denmark. And lo and behold, just a few years later, in the summer of 1944, the dream came true. Dania was a reality. And nowadays we have several buildings on the premises. We have assisted living, we have extended care, and we also have independent living. And right here on the green grass, this will be a green, green grass of home for new residents. Soon we will be starting building a new home with more than 150 apartments. And all this, all these dreams, they came true because somebody got their hands out of their pockets. People didn't just keep on dreaming, they took action as well. So this Sunday is all about how we are blessed in our good work and our actions too. Now, join me at the Danish church. The Lord tells us, Der som Herren ikke bygger huset, er bygmestrenes møje forgæves. These are special words we listen to at every single wedding here at our Danish church. Unless the Lord builds the house, the laborers work in vain. Now we all have a foundation. It's right here. And we are all born into the world and begin our life learning by listening and we all know that behind every good job there is a person who started listening and learning so join me this morning inside and let's listen to some wonderful music and learn from some encouraging words Guds fred og god morgen. Peace be with you. And welcome to our Danish church on 
Mother's Day. Today is a special day where lots of moms will get flowers and treats and lots of kids will be celebrating their moms with picnics or hosting a barbecue. But these are also challenging times and this is a difficult day if you live far away from your children or if you don't have a mother. Not all moms are perfect, we know that. Uh, I am, obviously. <laughs> and lots of kids grow up uh, maybe not even knowing their mom or not having a loving and caring mother at all. But what's important in a child's life is that you have someone. Someone who's a good and decent role model. Someone who cares. A person of action. A child can manage without a mother, but a child cannot manage without loving care. You need hugs and encouraging words. So today is all about being a person of action. Now most of us were born into this world with two ears and only one mouth, which tells us all about how the Lord wants us to be good listeners and maybe talk a little less. Uh, but we are also born into this world with two hands, which might tell us a little something about that we are born to do something, not just talk or listen, but also be a person of action. Act on what you hear. Try to be a person of actions. Now our Danish church here is, is built because somebody took action. Somebody has actually built this pulpit and someone has sewed uh, all the stitches in the altar carpet. It didn't just happen by divine intervention. Someone took action. We are all God's instruments and he provides the foundation so that our actions are not in vain. So today I want you to reflect upon how your hands might be able to make a difference in somebody's life. And do know that your foundation is the Lord. So your actions won't be in vain.
Now let's listen to good words from the Apostle Jacob. Do not fool yourself into thinking that you are a listener when you're anything but letting the word go in one ear and out the other. Act on what you hear. Those who listen and don't act are like those who glance in the mirror, walk away, and two minutes later have no idea who they are and what they look like. But whoever not having become a forgetful listener but catches a glimpse, even out of the corner of his eye, a glimpse of the free life and sticks with it. This person is no distracted scatterbrain, but a man, a woman of action. And such a person will be blessed in whatever he or she does. Amen. Så vær ikke blot ordets hører, men også ordets gører. Nu har vi hørt det, så fremad da i Jesu navn. Amen. Og hør os nu i Jesu navn når vi sammen beder vort fader vor. Fader vor, du som er i himlene, helliget vorte dit navn, komme dit rige. Ske din vilje som i himlen, så ledes også på jorden. Giv os i dag vort daglige brød, og forlad os vores skyld, som også vi forlader vores skyldnere. Og led os ikke ind i fristelse, men fri os fra det onde. Til dit er riget og magten og æren i al evighed. Amen. Herren velsigne dig og bevare dig. Herren lad sit ansigt lyse over dig og være dig nådig. Herren løfte sit årsyn på dig og give dig fred. I Faderens, Søndens og den Helligånds navn. Amen. Glædelig søndag.